Hello all, welcome back to the YouTube channel The Engineering Survey. Today we are going to interpret the mass hole diagram together with the longitudinal section of a rod. This is the comparison of longitudinal section uh, and the mass hole diagram. So from this diagram, you may be able to understand the mass hole diagram very well. Now you see, this is the longitudinal section of the particular rod section. Now, this, is, uh, this has been drawn after obtaining the heights of the center line, heights of the center line, right? So you have drawn such a drawing after leveling practice. And then you have drawn the design section as well, like this. So this is the design level you have drawn for the particular the longitudinal section. This is similar to that. So according to the design level, there's a small field because your design level is above the formation level. Design level is above the existing level. And after this particular point, the existing level goes above the design level, right? This is the existing level. And design level is well below the existing level. So here, clearly you can see there's a cut. And here, at this point, again, the design level and the existing level meet again. And now you see uh, the existing level goes below the design level. Here, the design level is above the existing, well above the existing level. And here again, they meet each other. And here again, the profile changes like that, goes like that, right? So now you see, here, here is a cut, here there's a field, here there's a cut again, here there's a field, and here there's a cut, right? So now you see, when you compare your longitudinal section together with the mass hole diagram, now you see, up to this point, right, you know that, now there's a field, right? So therefore, the mass hole diagram also in the negative side, right? But from this point onwards, right, you know the field changes, that means field is reducing, right? Field is reducing means, uh, basically, in on top cut, right? So now here there's a cut. So then the volume is get collected here, right? You see the volume collected up to this point. This is the peak point where the where you have the maximum volume. And it is the same point where you have finished the cutting, right? This is the point where you have finished the cutting, and this is where the uh, this is the transition point where the cutting changes to the filling, right? From that onwards, your storage will reduce, right? You see, from the point where you start the filling right your storage will reduce right hereafter there will be no maximum right so the curve will again go down right so now you see there's a filling so you whatever the storage here cut storage will be reduced like this right and this particular point we have the maximum fill right so you see this is the point where you have the maximum fill right uh, and at the same time there's a culvert no change in the volume right and here, hereafter again, there's filling, filling going on, but reduction in filling, right? Filling is going on. Up to this point, filling is going on. That's why the curve goes to the negative side as well. Now your entire storage has been finished, right? So you, you have a shortage of volume, right? Now up to, from this point to that point, still the filling is there and there's a shortage of volumes, right? There's a shortage of volume. And up to, up to this point where the filling finish is the maximum point where you have the maximum shortage of earthwork right earth volume and here from this point onwards your cutting changes to the filling right your cutting changes to the filling that is the point where this negative side starts to move to the positive sides right now you see your negative storage will be reduced back and reduced back and reduced back your requirement reduced back right and this is the point where you have the maximum maximum cutting right from that point, it changes to the positive side as well, right? Positive side as well. This is the this is the zero line, right? This is zero point. Zero line is this one, right? So similarly, now you see the cut volume comes comes right. Then there will be a maximum, right? Where the point it cuts the design level, right? Again, it will go to the negative side, right? There is a fill. Then again, the volume will be reduced. The storage will be reduced, right? Like that, it goes goes like that right this is now this is how you can compare the mass hole diagram with the longitudinal section now you see where the cut ends you have the maximum of volume right here after no collection of earthwork right from this point on uh, field has been started right so then you are going to consume whatever the storage you have stored when you are consuming the storage what will happen is this uh, storage will be reduced right the volume will be reduced the cumulative volume will be reduced right so here this is minimum point of the filling and here again still the filling is continuing that's why the curve goes like that 
but reduction in filling right that's why the curve is reducing here as well and this is the point where the maximum fill right so filling is filling ends up here so the maximum requirement is there here after again the adding of volumes right so then when when the adding volume happens right normally your shortage will be reduced if you can understand these two diagrams well right i think you have mastered the uh, mesol diagram then no problem these are the critical points we are it changes from cup to field you are having maximums we are right here also we are it, uh, changes from field to cut you are having max minimum right and again we we are it changes from cut to field you are having maximum right from field to cut you are having max minimum in the other side likewise you have to compare the maximums with the changes so this is how you can read and understand the mesol diagram together with the longitudinal section so now we will see uh, the interpretation of mesol diagram from point by point the mesol curve rising indicates cut because the aggregate volume are increasing j to b and a maximum point occurs at the end of the cut right so that is what i have explained right from j to b it should be from not from j from a to b right so maximum point is here right we are the end of end of cut right then the mesol curve falling indicates fill from b to m and n to d and the minimum point occurs at the end of the fill right so that is also i have explained right from b to m we are b to m and from m to d right so the minimum point occurs where the fill changes to cut right so i have explained that as well the difference between the ordinates at two points represents the volume of cut or fill between the two points so long as there is no maximum or minimum point between two right so what does that mean right so let's say you need to get the volume right work work volume from 1400 uh, chainage to 1600 chainage right then definitely what you can do is right you can uh, from 1400 to 1600 you cannot get the volume change because there is a maximum right if you want to get the volume change from 1400 to 1600 what you can do is you can get the volume change from 1400 to this point 1500 separately and 1500 to 1600 separately and add together right because there is a maximum right so there is a maximum and here let's say if you want to get the volume change between 1600 to 2000 chainage right still the 2000 there is no minimum point right so that that is not the lowest point of the curve right therefore you can get the volume change here you can it is 10000 right here about minus Six five thousand five hundred kind of then ten thousand plus five thousand five hundred means fifteen thousand five hundred. That is the volume change between one thousand six hundred to two thousand. You can do such a calculation if you if if you don't have maximum or minimum between these two points, right? If you have maximum or minimum, you have to get the get the volume change separately and add together, right? That's how you do. It. So that is what said in the third point. If any horizontal line such as a limb is drawn on the curve, then the volumes of cut and fill balance because there is no difference in aggregate volume between L and M. Right. So this is L M L to M. Right. This is simple L M. This red red line. Right. That is the horizontal line. Then the volume of the cut and fill balance. because there is no difference in aggregate volume between l to l and m so what does that mean right so now you see from at this point and at this point the cumulative volume is same what is the volume it is a plus it may be about 1000 so now you see at this point at l it is 1000 as well as at m it is also 1000 that means there is no volume change from l to m right that means whatever the cut up to here will be consumed for the filling and then the volume balances now you see from this point to that point this is where the point l right this is where the point l in the l is right from here to here there is cutting going on this is the maximum point where you get the maximum storage right then it changes here right so this is the point where the m is right m is somewhere here so if you extend it this is it is a capital l the point where the capital limb is just above the simple limb right so there is no volume change from here to there right whatever the cut volume here will be used for the filling 
of this area right so that's why here the cumulative volume balances from l to a right so this is known as the balancing line right so volume between these two points will be will balance each other so no need to uh, transport here and there you can use the same cut volume here for filling right that's the meaning of this balancing line such line is termed as the balancing line and gives the distance of fall between two points so now distance of fall means right so the, you need to uh, the distance you need to carry this volume from this point to that point so how you are going to calculate that thing right so you have to calculate the distance from the centroid of this part and from the centroid of this speed that is how you can uh, do that or otherwise the whole distance can be calculated uh, from this 1100 change it at this point uh, where the m is it's about 1700 so then uh, you can deduct this and that is the whole distance where you your total hole right you have to transport the volume from here to there right when the curve is above the balancing line material must be moved to the right when it is below a such line the material must be moved to the left now you see if the uh, curve if the curve is above the balancing line the material must be moved to the right right means this side this is the maximum point now so maximum point from this side to that side from maximum point left side to right side right then when it is below such a line the material must be moved to the left when the balancing line is below now you see here also there's a minimum here also the volume balances between point c to p right c to p if you carefully see the cumulative volume at point c is also similar right same with the p right so volume balances between these two points as well so here there is also a minimum now you see it should be moved to the left so whatever if you draw a line at the point where the maximum is if you draw a vertical dotted line and then from the right side of the dotted line should be moved to the left that means this volume should be moved to the left then it balances now you see in this figure also now this is the point where you have maximum right so whatever the cut volume here when you compare in the ls right it should be put to here from this arrow it shows right you have to put this volume and fill any number of horizontal lines may be drawn on the curve to find the balancing lines that enables the work to be done in most economical manner if you want to do the work such a way that there's a economy in the project you have you can draw a few balancing lines between two points right now here it has two balancing lines right in this figure you see one balancing line from l to p and one other balancing line from q to s so here if you have continued this balancing line right there will be no balance right because all the volumes are above so then uh, the volume will not balance right there will be a huge waste but if you draw it like this right from this point to that point volume balances right so that means this cut volume can be used for filling of this particular part and whatever this cut volume also can be used to fill this particular field. so this is how you draw the balancing line these balancing lines need not to be continuous for example lm and np are broken by the bridge and np and qrs are not connected at all here this balancing line whatever the balancing line it breaks from this culvert right even though i have drawn it straight away right and here so there's the balancing line l and m and c and p right and here it has also clearly separated and a q r s is a separate balancing line uh, when the balancing lines are not connected it means that the earthwork between those those points on the profile not balanced not connected not connected means now this balance line is and this balance line is not connected the meaning of that is the volume between this point and that point that means from p to q will not be balanced right now see here you feel this volume here you take this volume for this filling and this is the volume that remain right that is known as the waste so you have to dump this way dump means you have to take the dump truck and dump the soil to another land and here also there's a waste since we don't have the figure continuation from this point to that point we don't have that idea therefore we have to take this as the waste from this to this is the waste volume if you deduct thousand from five thousand that is the waste 4000 meter cubes is a waste uh, between this point p and q here also it is just similar to that uh, this is 5000 it's about 8000 3000 about 3000 between k l and p q where the mass curve is rising earthwork is not balanced so that is what is it p q p q and l h in these cases material will be carried to tip as it is surplus right whatever this remaining earth is known as surplus there's a special term right it has to be dumped so that is what said in this point 
If the mass curve were falling, it would be necessary to borrow material because the mass curve then indicates a peak. Now, fortunately, we are having waste. If this curve goes the other direction, let's say this curve goes like this, then there is a waste in other other direction. Waste that is not a waste, that is a requirement. Then you have to borrow the material and do the filling, right? So because there is a shortage of volume that you cannot be supplied from the cutting volume, right? Therefore, that volume has to be borrowed from a borrow pit. Then if the profile is like that, uh, and soil diagram also will change like this, and it, in, it will indicate a shortage. That's what explained in this point. If the balancing lines are too long, it would mean excessive and uneconomical hole distance. If the balancing lines are too long, we continue this balancing line like this, it is too long, right? That means excessive and uneconomical hole distance. Hole means you have to transport the cut volume to a certain distance. The product of the cut volume and the, the distance it transported is known as the hole distance. So it is uneconomical because you have to sometimes transport so low, right, to balance each other. Thus a scheme involving balance earthworks over some lanes having regards to the free hole, borrowing at the same points and running to waste at others is most likely to be used, right? So thus schemes involving balancing earthwork over some lengths, having regards to the free hole, right? As I told you, there is something called free hole. So what is free hole? Free hole is the distance where you transport the soil freely, right? So in some projects, the free hole distance is about 500 meters, some projects about one kilometers, right? Now in this particular project, it is about 500 meters, right? Now you see it is 1,220. Here it is 1,740, right? 1,740, this is 1,240. So this is the free hole. From this point to that point, the earthwork will be transported freely, right? So this volume is known as the free hole volume, right? And this distance is known as the free hole distance, where the dump truck transport the soil freely within this range, right? Above that range, it is known as the overhaul. This is freehold, this is overhaul. Over means you, you will be charged for this distance. So that is the end of the explanation of mass hole diagram. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe this channel and click the bell button for more of the very latest videos.